सॉइल्स इंपैक्ट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स हाउ डू सॉइल्स इंपैक्ट और अफेक्ट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स Will you write this answer? How do they impact? Are soils the basis of biogeographical rems? No, biogeographical rems are not based on soils. So, this will be how it is written. This is the question. How do soils impact the distribution of plants and animals? So, in the beginning, the introduction, you can say that natural factors that affect. distribution of plants and animals includes includes what climate as a very important factor uh, topography as a very important factor we have tectonics tectonics as an important factor and we have okay factors related to the human aspect okay the human aspect these are the four main reasons or the four most important reasons that impacts distribution of plants and animals and uh, to this we have the factors related to life form associations so we're talking about predation uh, we're talking about adaptation we are talking about migrations uh, dispersal uh, competition this these are the main factors that affect plant and animal ka distribution now in this list okay our point here is that soil is not as much soils are not as much as important and decisive factors soils don't really decide vegetations and forests soils don't really decide vegetation forest vegetation forest these are primarily the response to the climates vegetation forests they are primarily uh, tectonics and human aspects how does man distribute the human aspects okay so our point here is soils are not really the most important factor and not the most decisive factor soils don't decide vegetation and forest they don't decide uh, vegetation forest are the consequence of response to the climates but okay acha ek aur point hai likhenge aap soils are mostly mostly the consequence of vegetation and other processes okay so ra rather than saying that soils impact life form distribution it is actually a reverse one okay soils are affected by vegetations soils are impacted by the trees the biotic factor creates soils however soils do impact number 1 microorganism distribution soils impact uh, some special the special adaptations in life forms and very importantly the soils do affect biological a succession is it okay okay soils are not the major factors soils are not the primary factors the primary factors are tectonics primary factors are climate primary factors are biological factors adaptations soils are not the primary ones in fact soils are the consequence of climate vegetation and the rest but then i'm saying however soils do impact kaise mainly micro organism distribution with special adaptations in life forms and next is the soils do affect biological succession i hope you know what is biological succession okay biological succession kya hai it is a sequence okay and this is the sequence sequence in how 
ecosystems progressively change towards a final climax community it is a sequence in how ecosystems okay progressively change progressively keep on modifying towards a final climax community so soils do affect in this way and the fourth aspect is soils have impacted life form distribution more through human aspects ye apne aap nahi ho raha it is the uh, deliberate plantations it is agriculture okay it is choice of crops because of human systems that soils are related to specific crop types is it okay so soils apne aap impact nahi karte hain soils don't impact themselves soils impact when human aspects come into the play okay so it is man deciding that we will grow probably rice in the clay soils it is man deciding that we will so examples of how does man decide choice kaise hai okay so black cotton soil mein you are growing cotton you have decided this uh, you have got uh, shifting agriculture and root crops on lateritic soils lateritic soils ye aapne decide kiya hai rice in clay soils clay soils is again your choice grain farming in steps grain farming in prairies prairie soils steps mein kya soils hain chernozems so ye jo hai ye jo hai this is the consequence of human factors okay that black cotton naturally it is not that the black cotton soil had cotton man planted that okay naturally it's not that the lateritic region should have root crops man starts planting that rice in clay because rice grows good in clay soils where say grain farming or wheat farming in the chernozems of steppes or in the prairie soils it's again a human aspect why crop diversification to maintain the soil fertility that is why ye aap question samajh nahi paaye basically okay i think some of you are confused here listen i am not asking how the soil decide plant and animals okay what is the relationship i am asking how are the impacting distribution by that logic you say sir maine ghar mein to maine bonsai bana rakha hai so in my climate of air condition i have got, got a bonsai plant so in my garden i have got tulips in the tropical areas okay in my in my house i have kept a pet kangaroo so where do you find kangaroo i'll say okay i find it in the delhi zoo wo human factor hai na okay naturally kya hai what is naturally naturally is kangaroo is not supposed to be okay in india it's supposed to be only in australia so the discussion is does soil decide plant and animal distribution on its own as a natural factor my answer is no if i talk in terms of the major factors in terms of major factors climate is more important topography is more important biological factors are more important rainfall is important temperature is important okay soil is relatively a minor factor it is not the most important factor that's why i said the impact of soil is more on the microorganisms the small small earthworms and the bacterial like what are the microorganisms we're talking about so bacteria bacteria we're talking about algae we're talking about earthworms uh, these depend on the soil types okay then we have got special adaptations so there are life forms that have adaptations adaptations for acidic soil life forms that have adaptations okay for for a uh, humus poor soils adaptations okay where the soils may be high in the salt content so yahan par kuch adaptations you can write down some of the adaptations such as a 
oxalophytes those which grow in the acidic soils we call these as oxalophytes they survive in the acidic soils okay not halophytes acidic soils jo salt wale hain these are the halophytes halophytes some grasses some grasses are halophytes they can survive in the salt conditions halophytes then we have uh, 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 life forms which can survive on sand we call these as uh, samophytes p s s a m o samo p s s a m o samophytes so microorganisms like bacteria like algae like earthworms there are special adaptations in life form adaptations for acidic soil adaptations for salt rich soil adaptation for sand rich soil okay so yahan par they impact and then i said that soils do impact biological succession i'm almost giving you like an answer biological succession okay so what is the sequence of so so biological succession mein okay we have got uh, uh, halo seers we have got uh, uh hydro seers we again have uh, samo seers okay to yahan par soils are salty here the soils are more moist and swims swims hydro seer samo seer again on the sand dunes so soils affect okay biological successions and the last point here is that soils have impacted life form distributions more through the human aspects it is man who has decided what type of life form can grow where okay there is deliberate plantations deliberate agriculture choice of crops because of which the human systems the soils are related to the special type of crops man has decided what type of crops can grow where example i said black cotton soil okay region has cotton shifting agricultural regions they have got uh, root crops on the lateritic soil rice is grown on the clay soil grain farming on the steppes chernozems and the prairie soil is that okay migration adaptations competition dispersal how do uh, seeds disperse dispersal and competition so one question is soils don't decide vegetation forest explain this point with arguments main aapko ulta pooch raha hu give me examples where vegetation and forests are because of soils is cotton vegetation is sugarcane vegetation what is vegetation so life form distribution mein in the life form a distribution there are natural factors and there are human factors human factors includes okay agriculture human factors includes okay ex, uh, your deliberate implants okay domestication where you domesticate what life form natural factor mein climate hai topography hai okay and i said sab ke last mein soil hai soil is not a very important natural factor for life form distribution theek hai okay now one reference i'll give you to, for reading on this uh, can you please open up uh, chapter number in a made simple part 2 we have page number 246 so isme kuch hai dekho it says that uh, the soil fauna will be mainly composed of cold blooded animals whose rates of activity will vary with temperature as temperature increases the respiratory rate also increase the seasonal patterns of carbon dioxide concentration reflecting temperature and organic material in the deciduous woods in, in concentration there is a relationship between living plants and animals and the organic matter in the soil this is one so the soil as a factor is called as the edaphic factor so there is a close relationship between living plants and animals and the organic matter in the soil 
the amount of humus determines fertility and they are nutrient rich or poor so yahan par aap add kar sakte ho human aspects then it says plants which can tolerate calcareous soils are called as calcifuge and which are not restrict calcareous are called as calci coals okay so soils may because of calcium ions there can be plants which are adapted to calcium and there are plants which can grow in the absence of calcium okay so yahi do teen examples hain which can help you write maybe two three lines on how does soil impact the life form distribution